I was just doing some running repairs on the nav after coming back from a camping trip. This is an interesting sound. Right here. Hello darkness, my old friend. And I realized um, it's actually our second year anniversary, so. Sorry, I forgot Nav. But, um, cheers, I guess. So I thought whilst I was doing a couple of things to the Nav, I'll uh, give you my, I guess, a bit of a review or opinion on my experience with the Nav after owning it for two years. So, um, yeah, stick around. I got a feeling that it's probably just a bit of mud making something rub up against something else. So I bought the NAV in September 2020, so it's been a bit more than two years. And uh, to give you guys a bit of context, it's a 2020 Nissan Navara ST, so it's your, your baseline model. And um, it's a D23 2.3 litre. Um, really commonly referred to in the Navara scene as the NP300. In terms of my overall thoughts for the past two years, uh, I've had zero concerns with this car. Uh, the only issues I've ever had is I got some water in the snorkel a couple of times and that's just me being a massive rookie um, and not knowing that you shouldn't drive whilst it's pissing down rain on the highway. But if you close your emotional eyes. vanity, emotional vanity, emotional vanity. So that's my bad. Um, other than that, it's been mechanically been awesome. Um, literally, yeah, zero issues. Um, you always hear about people getting rear main leaks and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, no, mine's been fine. So you're always going to hear about the bad stuff, but not about the good stuff. So performance-wise, if you wanted a sports car, you wouldn't have bought a nav. So um, if you want to drag your friends down the main street on a Thursday night at late night shopping, then yeah, you're probably not going to buy a nav unless you, you're happy coming second. <laughs> Dude, I almost had you. In terms of off-road performance, like I've only got a two-inch lift and 31-inch tires, and this thing's done pretty good from what I've um, put it through at the moment. So um, I haven't hit a point where I've gone, oh, I need bigger tires or um, I need a bigger motor or anything like that, which is a good thing, I guess. So chuck a throttle controller on it, definitely. I, I would suggest that, but um, just to give it a bit of a up and go. But other than that, you really don't need too much. Um, I can't really give you a comment on towing or anything like that because I don't, don't tow or I don't plan to tow. An insane amount of aftermarket support. Just doing a quick Google, you'll get, I reckon, a million results for aftermarket parts for Navarro. So. I have no idea what the actual number is, but there's a lot. Yeah, the interior is pretty 
pretty good. Touch screen, uh, you got your aircon. I haven't done much in here, just put our seat protectors on and a couple of liners and everything, but um, the absolute best part about the interior is, I kid you not, one, two, three, four, five, six, six cup holders, but technically, I guess you could say seven, eight cup holders. I mean, Nissan really thought about this when they were building the nav. But in terms of comfiness, um, yeah, the seats are actually are pretty comfy. Um, so I've just got the, the liners on that at the moment. So didn't get any for the, the rear though. Um, I've got them up at the moment, but yeah, there's heaps of room in here, that's for sure. Heaps and heaps of room. Put three seats in here, I'm pretty sure. Three um, baby seats. So. I believe they've got the anchors on all three points. It'd be tight, but you could do it if you wanted to. So I paid $43,000 brand new back in 2020. I believe I got in right before the COVID taxes pretty much came in, I guess you could call them. So I got pretty lucky. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure a new one these days you won't get away uh, for 50000 or or less. I'll throw something up on the screen though. But um, would I buy another one? feel like I'm in a different financial, financial situation um, than I was back when I bought the NAV, so um, if I could get another one for 43, fuck yeah, um, brand new, but I don't know, I don't even know what I'd buy brand new at the moment, um, yeah, I'm still, still having fun with the NAV for now. So my final thoughts on the Navara, it's been a bloody good car. Uh, if you're in the market for one, definitely would consider one. I uh, probably wouldn't take a stock one off-road unless you're getting like the top of the line Entrek Warrior one, but um, yeah, if you're, if you're keen to get stuck into some modifications and and uh, yeah, you're not scared to throw a lift kit on and some wheels and whatnot, then yeah, definitely recommend the Nav because in terms of like an entry point for wheel drive, if you're after a new one, I'd, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd go a second-hand one these days with COVID prices. It's getting pretty insane out there. into this episode guys uh, if you agree with my comments let me know down below if you disagree also let me know down below um, but if you're new to the channel as well make sure you hit that subscribe button but otherwise i will catch you guys on the next one peace